what happened when we sin, last time I testified how I was working in the canteen preparing dessert for pupils, however I was eating portion of what I was preparing, though we were forbidden to do so, it is when I was working and eating that I saw that I was photographed, I saw a flash of photo though I did not see the person that had photographed me, I heard the Lord voice calling a thief because of the dessert I was eating, I came to realize that it was illegal and I confessed my sin, the Lord said since you realize that what you have been doing was wrong and since you confessed, all the pictures that were taken when you were committing these acts will be destroyed. These photos were evidence of your offense, that would have been presented on the last of day of judgment, brother when I woke up I wonder, does it mean that all the sin we commit are photographed by the kingdom of heaven and written in records of the spirit world? The spirit world has pictures, video and written records of our deeds. For the great judgment of the white throne, the spirit of God insisted and said, tell my children to have a life of confession, we must always be doing self-examination, Sisla network, a battlefield, I remember one day I went to attend celebration, where I took some photo, when I went back home I published one of these photo on my Facebook page. At that time I did not know that I had to pray for it before posting it, after posting my photo. The following day when I was sleeping, the Lord opened my spiritual eyes, I saw a man that took my photo that I posted online, the man was a Satanist, he was cursing my photo, he said to my picture, you woman, you will suffer in your life, you will not go forward, you will suffer all kind of sickness, you shall not hold money in your hand, you shall enduring hardship. This man took time to curse my photo and said a lot of evil things, brother when the Lord show you things in the night you must always destroy and undo these works of the enemy in the name of Jesus Christ. We must learn to pray for our photo when we post them in social media, I learn to use the name of Jesus whenever I pick up the phone, the enemy is coming up with new strategy and new tactic in this time of darkness, the biggest weapon against him is prayer stocks of supermarket food from the underwater world, in another experience, the Lord showed supermarket where we buy food, in this dream I saw people coming out of water with stock of product that are sold in the supermarket, people think that these veg, meat and fish are planted, fished and processed on the earth, yet I saw these items being taken out the marine world, they were transported directly to supermarket, this is a dangerous time brother. We must learn to purify these food through prayers, when you bought food and you are bringing these provision in your home, remember to pray for it, when you have finished cooking pray for it, pray when you buy clothes pray for them, I saw stocks of food coming out of waters, these things are serious. If the Lord had to open your eyes to see the real nature of these food you will be in terror, a weapon called worship. When I came to the Lord I noticed my walk with the Lord was all about conflict, I was subjected to consistent and continual spiritual assault and attack, I could not sleep peacefully in the night because of the attack, often when I was walking in the street I would begin to feel like people were beating me in the flesh, as if people were throwing stone on me, actually the Holy Spirit has activated my spiritual senses, so that I would be able to feel what my spirit was enduring in the spirit world. Thus I began to feel the hit of the arrows and darts that were shot at me and stones that were thrown at me, one day we were going to church, I told my husband people are shooting me with arrow and I can feel it in my body, though I cannot see them, the Lord enable me to feel the arrow and dart shot to my spirit, we don't always see these ammunition shot to our spirit which our senses does not perceive, I was entangled in a real battle sustaining attacks and assault but I was resolute and I stood up in prayer to seek the face of the Lord, one day I slept and I saw that I was in the middle of a crowds of people that surrounded me, they were assaulting me and I was powerless, I closed my eyes and began to worship the Lord, I had no strength but I kept worshipping the Lord, when I opened my eyes, I saw that these people were scattered and they fell to the ground and they were unable to rise, I saw the power of God, I saw the crowds in stampeded, the Spirit of God said, when you kept worshipping God, His presence came down and the power of God brought down these people, the Spirit gave me Psalm 27 verse 22, when the wicked came upon me to devour my flesh, my enemies and foes stumbled and fell, though an army encamps around me, 
my heart will not fear, though a war breaks out against me, I will keep my trust. Beloved this is precisely what I saw, it was thanks to this incident that I came to understand the power of worship, from that day onward worship became a defensive and offensive weapon, I began to put worship music in my house playing all day, and I built a lifestyle of worship in the middle of my battle, when I am walking in the street I always listening to worship music, one day my colleague caught me worshipping in the workplace and told me, this is not a church it's a workplace, God children not locked in battle against enemy, but they ignore the power of worship, we must learn to worship in the middle of our battle, for when the presence of the Lord come down the enemy will fall to the ground, there is victory in worship, the Lord told me, do you know that in the past when you were listening to world music you were a great worshipper of Lucifer, whenever you were putting that world music at home and listening, you were worshipping the devil, since you were his worshipper, since you turn your back on him you saw how he and his angels were following you and fighting you, the sword of the spirit, my enemy fell because of time dedicated in worship, however despite their defeat they did not leave me alone, we have a determined and resolute enemy that will always seek to regroup and come back, as the battle continue, I saw in a dream that I was in a place, suddenly I was illuminated by a great light, I wanted to look at the intense light but my head kept bowing before the great light, and I could not look, very quickly I saw that I was among millions and billions of people that stood before this light, I saw that they were holding Bible in their hand, I did not know the meaning of this, and when I tried to look at the light again, I saw a ferocious lion emerging in the great light, then I heard a tremendous voice, that said, here is the lion of the tribe of Judah, here is the lion of Judah. In truth I have never seen a lion before and it was the first time, this lion was really ferocious, when I woke up I could not understand the meaning of this, back then I did not know that Jesus was the lion of Judah, since I have discovered the weapon of worship, I bought a lot of worship CD, one of them was about Jesus the lion Judah, when I heard the song about the lion of Judah I understood that Jesus was the lion that I saw in the dream, and he came in the middle of my battle. When I asked my pastor about the millions of people I saw holding the Bible, he told me, the Bible that they were holding are the sword of the spirit, the Bible is the weapon, God children are soldier, they must make use of their sword which is the word, the Lord Jesus used the sword of the spirit when he confronted the serpent in the wilderness, the battle was really strong in my life, but when I saw the lion of Judas the battle of my life ended, Hebrew 4 verse 12, for the word of God is quick and powerful, and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart, we must use the sword of the spirit in this battle, we must also use the name and the blood of Jesus, I encounter the power of the blood of Jesus when when I was hospitalized, the doctor that was treating me wanted to do me harm, and the Lord revealed to me his heart intention, and when he came to administer me treatment in order to hurt me, I invoke the blood of Jesus and he was paralyzed before me, brother when we go to the hospital we must be in an attitude of prayer, hospital is deadly place, but there is power and victory in the blood, we must also read the scripture, the spirit told me, the more you read the bible the word will enter in your spirit and when the enemy come what will come out of you will be the word of God, then the spirit showed in a dream the enemy coming against me to destroy me and saw in this dream that I made use of the word of God by quoting Philippians 2, at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of those in heaven, and of those on earth, and of those under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father, when I recited this passage it caused the enemy to kneel down, and he lost all strength, I got the upper hand, there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the blood of Jesus and there is power in the word of God, which is the sword of the spirit, these are the weapon and ammunition available for us, and the lifestyle of worship is powerful weapon that neutralize the enemy. But we must keep away from world music that attract demons, worship song bring down God presence, it also bring the angels of God, worship is one of the principal thing in heaven, the Holy Spirit said to me to tell God people worship must return in their life, when I came to the Lord I was wondering why am I facing continual battle with no end, 
I have never visited a mystic for divination but why is my life all about spiritual conflict and battle, people are shooting me from all side, I continue to cry before the Lord, he said invoke me and I will show you what is hidden, finally the Lord that is faithful went on to reveal to me the root cause of my problem, one day by the permission of the Spirit I will talk about the root of the battle of my life, that did not come from me, Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. It is because I joined the way of the Lord Jesus that I came to know the truth, which give life, which is Jesus Christ himself, in praying, I kept questioning the Spirit of God about the kind of life that I was living, and the continual struggle and battle imposed to me by the enemy that I could not identify, brothers we must make time to stand in the presence of the Lord and seek answers about what is wrong. We must spend time in prayer for the Lord is happy when we have a habit of standing in his presence in prayer, they are hidden truth about our lives, the Lord said I will show you hidden things that you don't know, you keep wondering what is wrong with my life, I am here to tell to make time before the Lord and ask him for answers he is willing to bring answer, you don't need your pastor, just build the communion of the spirit and persevere in prayer.